here we go. Hey, welcome back to another episode of West Coast Cast. If you like the content, please consider clicking on the little like button and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you've got any helpful comments, I really appreciate those too. You guys have been awesome with the comments. So with that said, we're gonna be fishing the Snoqualmie River today. And I've got two rods with me. I've got my traditional Euro nymphing rod and I've got another Euro nymphing rod. But on that, I had watched a video from Red's Fly Shop about using a New Zealand strike indicator on a hinged uh, mono loop. So that gives you the advantage of uh, the buoyancy and, and of a strike indicator and um, the ability to drop your fly straight down and, and fish below in pools that would be traditionally harder for the typical uh, Euro nymphine rig to handle. This allows you to, to fish in the deeper, uh, slower pools. I'm just gonna try to fine tune that today, see how that works. We won't be fishing uh, where you would normally fish with it, but who knows, maybe we'll catch something and we'll give it a try. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be using this New Zealand indicator and it's got a non-slip mono loop and then a steelhead tippet ring. So it's a larger tippet ring that's inside the loop. And I will put a link to the video to Red's Fly Shop who does an incredible job of explaining how this is set up, why you do it. And then I've got about four feet of tippet, 5X tippet to an olive paradigon. And this is the fly that I've been using out here in my last video to catch a bunch of fish. I'm gonna see if I can use it in some of the slower pools here, some of the same areas. See how it works here. Typically you would use it for the deeper, slower pools, this type of setup. I just wanna try it out, fine tune it, see how it works so that when I do go to a situation where I need it, I'm prepared and understand how to do it. So I'm gonna try a few casts with this and then we'll switch back to the Euro, Euro rod and see what we can catch. Even if we don't catch anything on this, I consider it a win. <laughs> I'm out here on a nice day, talking to you guys, fishing. Oh, there's one. Got it. All right, fish on. So it does work. I'm sure this is probably a little white fish. Whitefish. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he was ready to go. Okay, I've switched from my New Zealand strike indicator uh, rig to the regular traditional Euro rig. I'm going to use the, of course, the olive paradigon along with the blowtorch. So we'll see what we can catch. Here we go. Got a fish on. Little white fish. Took the top. Olive Paragon. Fish on. Nice one. All right, right at the end on the swing up. Bring this one in. Another white fish. That was taken on the blowtorch fly. So here's the fish. Another fish on Euro style. Go. That one took the bottom fly, which is a blowtorch. Just little guys. There you go. Nice. All right, right at the end on the swing up. What's that? I I it, it, it hit fairly hard, but. Uh, just snapped me right off. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. All right, we are going back to the New Zealand.
feeling strike indicator with the hinged loop and see how that works since the last fish stole my entire rig. Oh, he popped off right when I was going to net him. But you saw on the camera, I hope. <laughs> I'm going to test this out uh, in this area here that is really hard to euro net. But I'm going to see if I can catch something indicator with the hinged loop. That one. Fish on. Well, that works nice. I normally wouldn't be able to get that right there. That's awesome. Oh, I lost it. I didn't even see what it was. Well, I ended up hooking one on like the second or third cast. Lost it though. All right. Let's see if we can get uh, another one here and actually land it. There we go. And it's another white fish. <laughs> but we proved that this method works. So here it is, a little bit bigger one this time. Whoa. All right, we'll let you go. And this river is loaded with white fish right now. And I really don't want to catch them. I'd rather catch a trout. But I'm in a very slow pocket of water right here. And it'd be really hard with the Euro rig to get a to drift this properly, but with my oh four ish foot leader of 5x tippet and my New Zealand side indicator, man, this is working great with the Euro rod. This one is bigger. There we go. Now that's a sizable whitefish right there. Uh, about 14 inches. So let's this guy go. There he goes. Yeah, I could never fish this with the Euro setup, but we're catching just as many this way as we do with the Euro rig. There we go. My hands are frozen, but here we go. <laughs> here we go. There, oh, missed another one. All right, come on, Kevin. There, ah, uh, what is happening? <laughs> Got one. There we go. I got one too. We got a double. <laughs> All right. Oh, mine came off. Bummer. Got it. Back. There we go. There I go. There we go. Well, that concludes another episode of West Coast Cast. Caught several whitefish, only whitefish, no trout. I had a blast doing it using a couple of different methods. Again, if you like this content, really appreciate it if you click that like button and consider subscribing. Here we go.